back to my channel. Today is Thursday and I, okay, you're getting out of control. You're in timeout. And I am going to an Oliver Tree concert tonight at the Hollywood Palladium in Hollywood. I've been there, I think like two times now. I think I've seen Pierce Lavelle there and Korn there. I really do like the venue. There's certain ones that are too small or not like you don't get a good view of the stage, not good sound, and I like this venue a lot. So I'm gonna head out there. I'm gonna go with my sister and my dad. This was my sister's Christmas gift. So we're gonna head out. Oh my God, do I bore you? Yeah, I bore you so much. Okay, you can go. Oh my God, I have all the dogs right here. Not all of them, but a good amount. We have Remy. Fieldy, Toby, and Cannoli. They just want to be right where I'm at. I just decided to wear like a t-shirt. It's this like Bubba Gump t-shirt I got in Long Beach. Um, I think at the Grand Prix. Yeah, at the Grand Prix a couple years ago. And not my ripped Levi's, but just my regular Levi's. I think I'm gonna wear my Mary Jane's because I want a little height. So I need a little height and I didn't feel like lugging my, my Doc Martin boots. Those are usually my concert shoes. So I think I'm gonna wear the Mary Janes. But I need black socks because they do have like a little peephole. And I don't know how people wear these because I wouldn't just like have my foot in there without a sock. Might be that people will wear them like that. I don't know. I also have like the Vans socks that are like half, but you could see like the checkers. Very simple outfit tonight. And yeah, let's go. We had a uh, outfit change. So I decided to not wear the Mary Janes because for some reason they're really tight today. I don't know. They're usually not that tight. And it's funny because I wore my, my Van socks too. And my Levi jeans. And yes, I'm wearing jean on jean. I don't even care. It's cold out there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to wear jean on jean. Okay, now let's go for reals now. First, we got to get something to eat because I'm so hungry. Are you mad? He's mad because we're leaving. <sighs> Oh, my baby. One thing about schnauzers, if you guys don't know, is they're very moody. Never mind. I'm in my black leather jacket because the fashion police said no. No Canadian tuxedos. No denim on denim. So, black jacket. Chicky, chicky, chicky. quick like the most plain egg sandwich ever it's just mayonnaise bread and eggs we're doing community service with my co-workers today so I worked this morning I clocked in about eight o'clock and I didn't even notice the time and I was like getting really really hungry and I was like I am not gonna go work for three hours or two and a half hours I think it's two and a half hours and be starving so this was all I could whip up and like yeah I have to leave it's fine I'm giving myself like a 10 minute cushion but honestly I probably don't even need that cushion like it's not like a set or set time because they rented out the whole entire place because we do have clients coming today and that means you have to like protect their privacy and things like that so you can't have just like people just there so they ended up working it out where they were able to book the whole entire food bank so that our clients could come 
and also do charity work. I'm gonna finish my food first because then I'm gonna be super late and then I'm never gonna talk to you guys. But just know I'm getting ready to go do community service. I wanted to show you guys my plant. Look at, this is my monsteria. I cut the stem because it was probably dead and I have a new monsteria leaf and it looks like it's gonna be a split leaf too. So like, if you guys don't know what that looks like, that looks like this where it's split. Those are, and then these are like the type that aren't split. So it's very awesome when you receive a split leaf. So that's exciting. I put it over here because we get sun coming in from this uh, window. And then, if you guys have seen my other videos, you guys might have seen when I bought this plant in San Diego. And it's been thriving in this kitchen. And I keep on getting new leaves. So my sister said its name is Diego because we found him in San Diego. So this is Diego. And Diego needs a bigger pot now at this point. And my dog knows I'm leaving, so he's barking. That is the perks of living from home is you get to spend all the time with your dogs, but then they get very spoiled and now they expect you to be home all the time. Sorry, little boy, I have to leave. Canoli's doing so much better if you guys didn't know he last year suffered from a stroke about, I would say, I think it's been about a year, a little bit over a year now, and he's doing much better. Look at this, he obviously cannot walk perfect. And especially on hardwood floors, he gets very nervous, but he's able to move out of his bed. He's able to move on carpets. It's a little wobbly if you see that foot, but he's doing much better. And I mean, this is what I could hope for. Well, obviously, 100% would be better. Okay, I have to head out. I only have like a five minute cushion now, so I have to head out. <laughs> to come to world market but I'm gonna see my friend on Friday and they're celebrating their birthday on Friday and I asked his wife what he would want for his birthday and I guess he doesn't like gifts but she said he likes snacks so I seen on a video that world market has like snacks and treats and all of that stuff from around the world so I thought it'd be better to come to World Market instead of like CVS because then he could just get them from CVS and maybe the stuff at the World Market he could try something new and then he would have to find a World Market or go to that country and let's see what they got. Little flavors maybe? Yes, probably. But they have some cute decor here. See, it's stuff like this that I was looking for. I don't know. Like I've never seen this before. They have little shortbread Scotty dogs. I don't know if you like shortbread though. How about this one? Twix Caramel Centers. That's interesting. Let's see what else they got. Hmm. Can you see these? I've never seen those ones. And of course, we made it to PetSmart now. So, look at this is so cute. Why are dog toys so expensive? They rip my our dogs rip them in like three days. So I don't really know if it's worth that price. But they're so cute. I do need to get Fieldy a brush. I have a brush like this right now, but it's not working for him. So she said to get a brush like this, but Dean Tangle fur? No, I guess we'll try this one. Make this one more yellow. And then this is like my, oh, you know what? They have a detangling spray, my favorite shampoo for them. So I think I'll get the detangling spray too. Alrighty, I dropped off where my family brought them home and I decided to do more shopping. So I came to uh, Marshall's. I'm gonna look for like a gift basket to put all of those sweets in. And then honestly, I just wanna look at all the dog toys too. <laughs> These are so cute. This is me. I love my dog. I really liked 
And these. Look how cute this is. And these sets are so adorable. Oh my gosh. I love these bowls too. There's always these yoga ones, and that is by far my bad favorite. It's a little dinosaur. <gasps> I wish I could see how much it was. Okay, I wanted to get a basket, and I don't really know what size. I think I want this one. I think this is a good size. Because I got the lemoncello pie and then the bottle. I think this will be good. Good morning. It's the next day, and I did not vlog last night. Boys, I let my dad sleep in today. <laughs> sleep in sleep in <laughs> it is I, it is sleep in but I was going to come to McDonald's by myself but I realized yesterday when I was out shopping by myself that I can do things on my own I just don't want to you know and that includes because that's so much fun yeah it is true he is very fun but and then also too like I was like this morning I was contemplating and watching Vampire Diaries I'm like do I want to go to McDonald's by myself no so I woke up my dad and asked him if he wanted to like, you know, get breakfast. <laughs> and then on top of that, I, had, I asked him if we could bring my dogs. <laughs> oh, she didn't really ask if she could bring the dogs. Yeah, I just kind of looked at him and he said, get your dogs. <laughs> anyway, we'll talk when we get back. Home. I'm in a different outfit. I finished the McDonald's. I wanted to do a haul because I never gave you guys a haul of everything I bought. So, since I have the Ulta bag right here, we'll start with what I bought from Ulta. Um, I didn't anticipate, I mainly went into Ulta because I wanted to buy my hair oil. I haven't been able to find my hair oil and I've been really needing it. And they had the hair oil. Get that. And then I was like, I need skincare because I have been very consistent with my skincare and I've actually run out. <laughs> so I need to restock. But I wanted to try something new because I wasn't too fond of it. So, I got the Good Molecules Daily Essentials. This one has like all of it, and if you know me, I need steps. So this has everything I pretty much need. It has the toner, serum, the eye gel, and the moisturizer, which my sister said was good because this one's lightweight, and the moisturizer I've been using has been feeling very heavy on my skin, and also to this um, acid, the Inky List one that I was using, I think it's called Inky List, one that I was using felt very heavy, and it was kind of annoying when I was trying to go to bed. So she said, hopefully this is a little bit more lightweight. I had to get a restock of my melatonin sleep gummies, but I didn't get the extra strength because the extra strength really, really put me in a haze the next morning. And I, at first I didn't know what it was. And then I've realized that it was when I took my melatonin that the next day I felt so groggy and it just wasn't good. So I didn't get the extra strength. I didn't even realize I got the extra strength last time until I looked at the bottle. So I just got the normal one. I was gonna try the sleepy time mocktail that everybody's been talking about, but I know for a fact this works. And I really wanna look up the difference between taking melatonin and the magnesium. I don't know if it has the same properties or which one is better, but the magnesium was pretty expensive. It was like 25 bucks for like the little jar. I don't know if it's cause it's very popular right now, but I, I know this worked and it was only $13 as opposed to 25, so I'm gonna like do some more research on the other one. Then I got my Rizzo Curls Nourish Oil, hair oil. I've been needing this and I haven't been finding it, so I'm glad I restocked. Then I went to Marshalls, and I was mainly looking at Marshalls for a basket because I'm gonna make my friend a gift basket for his birthday, and I felt like this was a good sort of masculine basket, but also very stylish, I feel like the Ratatan, that's what you call it, right? Ratatan is very in right now. So, and it's very sturdy. I ended up picking up this basket. Um, it was kind of hard to tell like the products that I purchased and if it was gonna be enough space, but I figured I'd rather go on the smaller size than on the bigger size and then like you have a bunch of empty space. I always try to get the puppy wipes. I have dogs, they throw up, we take them to the beach, they get dead muddy paws, just a variety of things. The dogs are an issue. It's good to have this in the car at all times. Well, I restocked on face masks. I got the creme shot, vitamin C, and hyaluronic acid sheet masks. So these are only $4, which is pretty cheap because I feel like Ulta, it's like $3 per mask, and this one comes with five masks in it. So that's what I got from Marshalls. Then at PetSmart, I got their shampoo that I really, really like. It, it is 
it is on the ex more expensive side for do dog shampoo, but I feel like it really brightens their coat. Um, they don't have itchy skin. So I got that for them and I got the detangling spray because since I like the shampoo, I wanted to try the, the same brand and I got this brush and I did try it this morning and it works really well. The only thing is, yeah, I should have paid the extra $10 to get the one that has the whatever mechanism that you can push out the hair because that was a pain. So I'm gonna exchange this for the other one. My World Market first ever haul. I've never been to World Market and I can say I liked it. I liked it a lot. Okay, I got this sparkling lemonade. This one is from France. I had this somewhere and I don't know where, but it was good and the bottle so cute and you can reuse it so i hope they reuse the bottle but my friend was telling me he really likes um lemon flavored pastries so i thought maybe a lemon flavored drink <laughs> and to stick with the lemon which after i was looking at everything i bought a lot of stuff that actually was made in the usa <laughs> <laughs> i never seen them so it's fine this is like lemon snaps cookies, but it has no high fructose corn syrup, no artificial flavors, no artificial colors, and peanut free. So I'm hoping it tastes good. <laughs> These, oh, this is from United Kingdom, oh, Dublin. This is from Dublin. So they're these little chocolate melts with like, I don't know, seemed fun. Then I got two chocolate bars. I got the Waffle, and I was really drawn by this packaging. This was from New Jersey, Trudeau chocolate bar. I don't know, but I noticed afterwards in the line that this is dark chocolate and my friend said he li she, he likes milk chocolate. These were fun, everybody likes sour gummies, right? So these are from Germany. I've never seen these ones. They're making my mouth water, so they hopefully they're sour. He loves my Rick and Morty and I happen to see this Rick and Morty drink. It's an energy drink, so I don't know if he drinks energy drinks, and if he doesn't, then, well, he could just save the can. Then lastly, I got this lemon cello tart from Italy. I hope you guys like this haul. <laughs> times they have fillers at the bottom and my friends left their ice packs <laughs> so I just put the ice packs at the bottom you could kind of see the blue but I feel like maybe I want to use like cardboard or paper to try to lift this a little bit higher to create some dimension but yeah this is pretty much it and I might use like double-sided tape because I know they do that on the professional baskets where it they like stick together so nothing moves like that you know what's funny it just like I did not do this on purpose, but he used to work at a gift basket. He used to do tech for the, a gift basket company. He quit that job, and now I'm giving him a gift basket. That was not purposeful. Uh, I just wanted to recap on first the Oliver Tree show. I felt like it was really cool. I really liked the visuals, but I just felt like there was a lot of breaks between each song, and it kind of like threw off the rhythm of the show. And that was like my only complaint. Other than that, I thought the music was cool. I thought there were some pretty cool beats. And you guys finally get to see my new phone be used for exactly the reason why I wanted to get it was for live footage. The quality was so crisp. When I was just filming, I was like, holy cow. And then I tried using the whole zoom thing um, while I'm filming because that was another thing that they said that they were like truly trying to pride themselves on was the ability to do that with this new phone. Let me know if you guys see a difference in the quality. So far, I'm pretty stoked about it. It looks pretty nice. Recap of the charity event. I uh, had a lot of fun. My clients did go and it was really nice to like get that personal one-on-one -on -one in person time with them and to just do volunteer work I'm really happy that I work with a company that prides themselves on wanting to give back to the community so this is like a constant thing and I feel like every single time we go it gets a little bit bigger and bigger and this time it was great that our clients got to join and they actually seemed very like happy to do so and this is what the gift basket looks like right now. I did go ahead and add some tape so it's stuck. I could not find 
the saran wrap. Unfortunately, it's gonna have to just go like this. I feel like I'm missing something right here, but I mean, honestly, I feel like I'm just like, I could nitpick it forever and try to find something that I want to fix. Hopefully he's happy. I feel like these are a lot of things that I've never seen before. But thanks so much for joining me, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!